You may think we're in St. Augustine, Florida. Actually, we're in a brand new exhibit at the Florida Museum of Natural History, First Colony, our Spanish origins. Darcy, thanks for having us back. Thanks for coming. What's the origin of First Colony, our Spanish origins? We, the museum, have been excavating over in St. Augustine and throughout Spanish Florida for many, many years. And we really wanted to bring this story to the public. St. Augustine was founded long before Jamestown or the Pilgrims. That's right. And our first Thanksgiving was held in St. Augustine. Oh, that's important. It was 1565. The first Thanksgiving actually was quite different than the one we think we know about in the 1700s. That's right. It yeah. did take place with Native Americans and Europeans, but the foods were very different. And of course, it was a lot earlier. And I really enjoyed the interactive elements of the exhibit. Now, there are a couple of threads that go throughout the exhibit. One is the real people of history who lived in the community, mm -hmm. the Native American people, the Europeans, Caribbean people, African people, right. really our country's first melting pot. And then there's the thread of archaeology. So how do we know all of this from the past through history and archaeology? Right. And one of my favorite things is the archaeology touch table where you can virtually excavate a site. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Let's talk about the first settlement interactive exhibit. But that's neat. Yeah, we worked with some gamers on this, and you can actually fly into the settlement as we think it may have looked based on the archaeological information. That's awesome. And talk to some of the residents who lived there. And also, you can build a city, the city planner table. What's that? Right. There were laws in the Spanish colonies as to how you would plan a town. So you would always have a plaza, streets here, church here, government house there. It takes you through that process of building a town. The final area of the exhibit is all about reflecting back on our Spanish origins because really if you think about it today our society is so multicultural right. so global that really it has a lot of relationship to what happened in that first colony so you can create a collage a it really is it's an awful lot of fun and everything is and, in, and of course you're learning so much the artifacts here are incredible let's talk about some of those what is this one again this uh, symbol is called a figa, and mm -hmm. it is a clenched fist with the thumb through it, and it was given to children when they were born to ward off evil. You have all kinds of artifacts here, and you're always discovering more because you have an active site at the Fountain of Youth Park. That's right. We're still excavating that first settlement from where Menendez first landed mm -hmm. in Florida and finding all kinds of things. It's exciting. It really is. So how long is the exhibit going to be at the Florida Museum of Natural History? It'll be here through spring. So come to the Florida Museum of Natural History. I highly recommend you check out First Colony or Spanish Origins and all the other great exhibits at the Florida Museum of Natural History, like the Butterfly Rainforest, the Fossil Hall, uh, the Cave, and then just so much more, and the great gift shops, too. Gift shop. Love to shop there, too. Thank you, Darcy. Thanks, sir. Let's ward off some evil.